How much time we have? Nine. Nine minutes? Okay, I know that we are not going to be able to cover in great detail what, uh, we talk, what we talked about as far as the New Testament where the Lord equates the Pharisees with this bloodline, with the Canaanite children, and that the, the Canaanites were the ones that killed, you know, all the prophets. Um, so, I just want to read a little bit about that. It says, John 3, 12, Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother, and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. I specifically that it's got to be that Cain was the son of Satan. Absolutely. He had to be the son of Satan. And then we'll go to another one, John chapter 8. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me. Because my word hath no place in you, I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which you have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because, you, because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. See, I think this is real important, Zan, that, that I, I, and I really want to stress this because I know we've got a, just a couple minutes. Yes, I know. The, the lineage of Cain has manifested itself just like there is a true lineage that still exists for the, the Israelites, the true Hebraic children that were chosen. There's a true lineage there, and there's also a true Canaanite lineage that has run itself right through the Merovingian bloodline, right, right up to the royal family of today. And I, and I, I really go into great detail about that in my book, Eden. The reason this is important is that, yes, they have been mixing, and, and, and we're all saved because of Jesus Christ. But there is a lineage, a true lineage, a true serpentine lineage that has remained totally pure, mm -hmm. just like there are 144,000 at the end of days that are totally pure of the 12 original right. Jewish tribes. Right. And that particular lineage, because I have people ask me, well, you know, I could have been part this and part that. I'm like, that's not the issue. You have the choice to be saved if you choose so. But that lineage that has been manifested itself as the kings, the priest that controlled Jesus and tried the to be killed him, are true serpentine yes. lineage. Yes. They are never going to be saved. They can never be saved. They are blue-blooded. Yes. They are cold-blooded. And they are here to take our souls. Yes. And at the end of time, they're going to manifest a body, which I believe has been done. And they are going to allow Jesus to live in our day and time as a materialistic Messiah because that's what their fathers, the Pharisees, Sadducees, wanted when Jesus was li living on earth earlier. And, and Satan asked him, you know, if you'll, if you'll give me yourself, I'll give you the world. The right. next one coming is going to be a clone. He's going to look like Jesus, and he's going to be materialistic, mm -hmm. and he is going to give them the world. Right. And that is the intent and the parallel that exists from the beginning to the end of days, we have seen Satan wanting to be Messiah. He emulated him in the Garden of Eden, and he's going to emulate him again at the end of time. And unless you know the truth about what we're saying, you're going to be caught up in that lie. That's because right. as we get near the There's end of days, that's right, the deception's coming. And if you're so deceived, you cannot tell the truth and the lie, you'll end up taking the mark of the beast. You'll end up worshiping the wrong person because our Messiah, our Jesus Christ, rose from the dead. He's coming back for us. But don't be fooled when somebody says, here's the Christ and there's the Christ. He warned us. He knew somebody was going to look like him. Absolutely. So be prepared that 
when it says he'll come like a thief in the night, if you're knowledgeable, you're going to know the time. Right. The thief is for the people right. who don't, don't know, know him. And remember the virgins. Those that had their oil and were ready, they, they went knew. in with the bridegroom. And those that weren't, they were left out. That's right. And so also, we know the Bible warns us about this great deception. You can see it being set up by the Vatican, the Da Vinci right. Code, all the Zachariah Sitchin, the Sumerian teachings where these ancient astronauts created the fallen angels, these demons created mankind. The, they're going to want you to believe that these aliens are, are co-creators and that they're coming here to do something benevolent right. to help humanity and mankind. And I know, for those of you that all of this is new, all of this sounds really insane and lunatic fringe, but this is the truth that the Lord has led both Dr. Joy and I to, the discernment that we came to from different perspectives, and uh, we're just trying to bring this truth to you because uh, we're trying to get the church prepared. Well, that's the main thing, and I think that if you're prepared, that you're going to know the time, you're going to know the man, you're going to know it's him, you're going, to be, you're going to be waiting for Jesus to split the sky and come back after us in the second coming. And if, if not, you're going to be totally led astray by a great deception because he fooled Eve, exactly. really Satan fooled Eve in the Garden of Eden, and that's, again, a parallel, that those are not ready and not sure are going to be like Eve, exactly. and you're going to lose that on paradise. And the Lord said, even the elect shall be deceived. That's right. And it says that Satan is going to be coming in sheep's skin clothing. He's going to be pretending like he's God. Right. He's going to manifest himself as God, saying he is God. That is the abomination of desolation. So that tells you he's going to be walking in the flesh, looking like he is Jesus exactly. Christ. Exactly. And declare himself God in the rebuilt temple in Jerusalem. Uh, Dr. Joy, we're getting down to the very end. Would you like to give your website, your contact information, where people can buy your books and your uh, audio edition of you? Yes, you can go to um, www.drjoy, that's D-R-J-O-Y-E dot com. And my books are listed there. My latest one, of course, is Eden, The Knowledge of Good and Evil. It's abridged and updated on the 12 CD disc set. And I would love for you to be able, if you've got any questions from any of this, to just email me. My email address is there, and I do answer my email. Sometimes it can take a little longer if I'm doing a lot of documentaries and things, but I will get back to you because it's most important. These days are short, and I want you to know one thing. I want you to be able to make the right choice so that one day you will live in paradise because you had all the information you needed. Would you like to also just inform the Coast to Coast listeners that contacted you after your show that your computer got wiped out and that they can contact you again? Yes, if you have sent me anything by email and I have not responded to you, I did have six months of emails that for some reason were taken off of my email and we don't really know if someone hacked that or what happened. So if you did, if you sent me something after the Coast to Coast show and I did not answer you, I would really appreciate you sending your email back to me because it was wiped off and I have no idea who they were and, and what happened to those emails. How much time? Seconds. Seconds. Okay, this is Zen Garcia with FallenAngels.tv. I ask you to please go to our website, check out all of this, because we're talking about all of this, and Dr. Joy and I will come get together again for more um, discernment on all these things, and we thank you for listening. God bless.